Hi, this is Trent with RacesForDinner.com. I want to talk to you a little bit about this can of free spray. It's MG Chemicals Super Cold 134. I also have this other brand, um, Max Pro Free Spray. And as you can see from the photo on the front of the bottle, it's got a circuit board on there. And you might be asking, why do I need free spray? And why can't I just turn my canned air upside down and use that. Well, this is designed to work upright. You don't have to aim it upside down. And it's meant for freezing circuits down to 60 degrees, negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 51 degrees Celsius, negative 51 degrees Celsius. And why would you want to do that? Well, to track down a short circuit. I've got a, a logic board here I just used in a different video, you can see one of the components from it here. Um, you can see that the, the board is basically trashed. All of those little components were blown off the board. So this is a demonstration video of using free spray. And if I just take the nozzle of this and we spray this board a little bit, and then you wait and wait and wait, you can see that there's some ice crystals forming. We'll spray this Toshiba chip a little bit on one side so you can see the difference since it's black. And it looks like we got a little component stuck to the Toshiba chip too. But you can see the ice crystals forming and it's cold to the touch but it's not cold enough necessarily to track down a short circuit. And if you continue to spray it it will continue to freeze and eventually it will entirely be frozen. Now I've got two nozzles here. The one at the bottom of the frame that's moving. This is the free spray. This other nozzle is the dust off canned air. Now watch this. If we take the free spray and we freeze the board, then you hit it with the canned air. Look at that. It almost instantly turns to ice crystals. So this is just a method of making the free spray freeze faster, so to speak. And you don't have to sit here and wait for it to freeze over. And you actually don't have to use as much of it either. As you can see, these connectors up here weren't frozen. And I only sprayed them one time. And, and now look at them, they're completely iced over. This is not a toy. This is not something you should tease your friends with and say, hey check this out and spray them with the free spray. This, again, will go to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And everybody knows what it's like to be outside when it's snowing. This starts snowing at 32, positive 32 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately. And this goes down to negative 60 degrees. This is not a toy. Do not spray people with the free spray. You can cause frostbite injuries. I mean, look at this. This is cold. Here, let me get my infrared thermometer here. Let's see if we can't take a look at that. And it's only 42 degrees in the coldest spot. But if we continue to freeze the board, let's see what it looks like when the freeze spray looks like this. Look at that, 20 degrees. It's warming back up already. It actually said 17 degrees before I moved the... Oh, there it is. 14 degrees, 11 degrees. So you can see that it gets cold. And it hasn't fully frozen over yet, but if we hit it with the canned air, you can see it, it freezes it over a lot faster. And using this, and then applying power, you can connect a battery, connect the dock to where that connector used to be. Here's the connector over here. Connect the dock to the board, connect a battery to the board, plug in the power cord to the dock, and the board will power up. And you, then you, at that point, you can disconnect the power from the dock and rely on the battery. And watch and see where the free spray melts first. It'll basically look like this. And to do that, you can track down burned out components. I'm sorry, not burned out components, shorted out components. Hang on, that's my phone ringing. 
I'll just put that on mute. Anyway, uh, use the free spray. Find short circuits with it. Do not hit your friends with it. Thanks for watching. This is Trent with RacesForDinner.com.